Hey there, it's Kenny Smith from Appliancechat.com and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be discussing my Dia washing machines and the common issues that users might encounter. If you've been experiencing any problems with your MyDia washing machine, you're in the right place. We'll go through most common issues and their solutions. So let's dive in. One common problem is when the MyDia washing machine doesn't start. This can be caused by various factors such as a power supply issue, a locked door, or a malfunctioning control panel. To address this problem, such as checking the power supply, inspecting the door lock mechanism, and examining the control panel settings. To ensure your washing machine is properly connected to a power source, make sure the power cord is securely plugged into a functioning electrical outlet. If you're using an extension cord, try plugging the machine directly into the wall. Additionally, check if the door is securely closed and there are no obstructions. And don't forget to double check the control panel settings for any errors or adjustments that need to be made. Moving on to the next common issue, the MyDia washing machine not spinning. This problem can be caused by load imbalance, a faulty door switch, or other part malfunctions. If your MyDia washing machine isn't spinning, you might want to check if the load is balanced. Overloading the machine or having an uneven distribution of clothes can trigger safety mechanisms that prevent spinning. Another possible cause is a faulty door switch, which you should inspect for any visible damage. Additionally, issues with the drive belt or motor coupling could affect the spinning function. If you're unsure about these components, it's best to consult the user manual or seek professional assistance. Now moving on to the next common problem. My Dia washing machine not draining. My Dia washing machine not draining is check the hose is not blocked or have a kink. Secondly, check the drain pump and filter is not clogged. If your My Dia washing machine is still not draining then it may be a hardware malfunction with the door switch, drain pump or control board. Best to contact a qualified technician to have a look. Now, let's talk about excessive noise coming from a My Dia washing machine. This noise can be attributed to problems with bearings or loose objects inside the machine. To address excessive noise, check for any buttons or coins that might be tumbling around inside the machine. Also, ensure that the washing machine is placed on an even surface using a spirit level to check its balance. If the noise persists, it might be necessary to replace faulty bearings or seek the help of a technician to diagnose and resolve the issue. We've covered just a few of the common issues discussed in the article. If you want to learn more about MyDia washing machine problems and their solutions, I highly recommend checking out the full article on Appliancechat.com, in the link in the description below. Remember, troubleshooting your washing machine can save you time and money, but if problems persist, don't hesitate to seek professional assistance by checking out the links below. That's all for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.